Hey guys, so I'm gonna talk to you about a new topic based on a tweet I posted on Instagram the other day. So the tweet said, I have no respect for a black man who slanders black women while praising white women for their black features. Now, I stand by every word I said, but I do want to clarify because I want to give those who commented and questioned on Instagram the benefit because I didn't post all the tweets leading up to this post. This all began when I saw an article online that said something along the lines of 2014 being the era of big butts thanks to Kim K, and now 2015 Kylie Jenner has started the trend of big lips. Really? Really? She started it? So I'm going to read off some of the things I tweeted leading up to this post just so you can understand it better in context. I said, so big lips are a trend now thanks to girls like Kylie Jenner. Hmm. We'll tell that to all the little black girls who were getting bullied for them in elementary school and in high school. And definitely don't forget to tell that to the same girls when that bullying turned into sexualization with the nickname DSL. Y'all know what that means. They get credit for buying our butts, our lips, our style, yet black women are still being disrespected for these same features and more. They love everything about a black woman, except of course, the black part. And then I said, I have no respect for a black man who slanders black women while praising white women for their black features. So with that being said, I think it's more than obvious that my beef is not with all black men or white girls who have full lips and big butts and are curvy. My issue is with the black men who disrespect black women and then on top of that praise white women for the black features that they paid for. And I know there's something else I need to clarify because people question me on this again and again and that's what are black features? Now obviously black people do not own big butts, we don't have full lips copyrighted, and not all black women are curvy. However, when you look back to those super racist cartoons from back in the day, how were we drawn? What did our lips look like? What did our butts look like? When they painted their faces in blackface, what did the makeup around their lips look like? And when we're being copied and ridiculed for our body shape, how do they go about that? Do we own these features? Of course not, but if a large percentage of us didn't have these characteristics, we wouldn't be stereotyped in this way. Our features would not be exaggerated in these cartoons the way that they were. And because of that, I for damn sure am not about to praise white women for these features they paid for when us who have these features naturally are still being condemned. And I will never respect a black man who does just that. So when I say black features, I'm not just saying they took our lips, our hips, our butts, or whatever. I'm saying they're mimicking all of the things Things that they belittled us for and realistically still do but you know this isn't gonna be a video of me going in on the Kylie Jenner's and the Kim K's and the Iggy Azalea's and the Miley Cyrus's I wish I could but I cannot change their mindsets nor do I really want to make a video for them when I know they're not gonna watch it and I know that it's not benefiting my people to make something for them this is to show my concern with all the black men who don't see even the slightest problem with this. The majority of the people who questioned my post on Instagram were either not black or black men. Now real quick, real quick, if you are not a black man or a black woman, you are very much open to sharing your opinion. However, if you're not a black man or a black woman, you're simply someone on the outside looking in. You're like those white people who complain about the racism against them. I'm not saying you don't have a right to talk about it. I'm not saying that you haven't experienced some shit. I'm just saying it's like you complaining about a splinter and I'm walking around with a knife in my back. Just sit back and chill because this one is not for you. My biggest concern with the black men who tried to argue that my tweet was wrong was that they completely disregarded the black men slandering and disrespecting black women part and only acknowledged the part about white women having black features. Really? You're just gonna ignore that? You're just, you're gonna act like it's not an issue the way black women are treated? That's cool. That's fine. Actually, no. It's not cool. It's not fine. Black women are hands down the most disrespected group of people on this planet. We're talked down to every single day, whether it be in music, in videos, in movies, on the internet, in the streets, wherever. But to be disrespected by the very boys we raised, to be disrespected by the boys we grew up with, to be disrespected by the boys who will become men and possibly have black daughters of their own, no matter how far outside your race you date, your children will be black. And even more so to be disrespected when we're the ones who love and defend you when all others don't. They don't love you when you're not dribbling a ball or selling records and making them millions. The media slanders black men like it's nothing. Law enforcement and the justice system don't even acknowledge that you're human. And who were the main ones in the street demanding justice for you? Who's teaching you how to take care of yourself? 
and telling you to do your homework and getting on you when you fuck up? Who's looking to you for protection while you look to us for nurturance? Your black mothers, your black sisters, your black daughters. And you have the nerve to talk down to us? You have the nerve to say you'd never date a black woman? You have the nerve to say black women are ugly? You have the nerve to say you hate when girls wear their natural hair? And don't even get me started on the way you guys talk about dark-skinned women. Now my intent here is not to throw shade at black men and I'm definitely not going to say that all black men disrespect black women. But speaking in general within the black community, the way black men treat black women is just atrocious. I get so many compliments from guys outside of my race and I'm sure plenty of you ladies do too. And it's so sad because we should not have to look outside of our race for recognition or acknowledgement or a damn compliment. And for the younger black guys who throw compliments my way, they usually say some bullshit like, Damn, shawty, you kind of bad for a dark-skinned girl. It's not a compliment. But you know what's the saddest thing about all of this? No matter what, no matter how many times you guys disrespect us or step on us, we'll always be by your side. Regardless of any other factors, we're in this together because none of us can get rid of our blackness.